a salivary gland here, crop gizzard. Crop here. Under the yellow is gizzard. Are you okay? Are you uh, crop gizzard, and all of these big yellow ones are uh, pyloric cecum. We call them pyloric cecum. These are gonads. All of these are gonads. These little lines are Malpighian tubules, which we will talk about it. Malpighian tubules. Right, this yellow. You see, see the yellow lines? Not these. These yellow lines. Malpighian tubules. Rectum. This is rectum right here. And this is ovipositor. This is a female ovipositor. And those are internal anatomy. The external anatomy, of course, you have the uh, compound eyes. Simple eyes here, it was broken, but head, uh, thorax, abdomen. And in the abdomen, these are called spiracles, these little dots. You see the dots? The dots are called spiracles. I'll talk about it in the lecture. These are called lungs. These are all lungs right here, spiracles, spiracles, trachea. These are trachea, spiracles. And then there is this number 16 right here, I always asking about practical. Is tympanic membrane, just like your ear. In your ear, you have tympanic membrane. These are called tympanic membrane. I don't have anything else. Four wing, hind wings, it's not shown very well in here. That's all I have here. Which ones were the salivary glands again? Salivary glands are the wings. Mm -hmm. okay. Brain. Uh, we don't have any more grasshoppers? Oh, yes, one more grasshopper. Okay, grasshopper. The mouse parts are in your slides, in your textbook, so make sure you know them. Uh, if I want to ask mouse parts, most likely I will ask the one on the slide, not on this here. Okay? They separate the mandibles and uh, maxilla and so on and so forth. But anyhow, antenna, compound eye, simple eye. Crop and gizzard, you see crop and gizzard is nice shown ni nicely here. 26 is crop, 27 is gizzard. These are pyloric cecum. Okay, Malpighian tubules right here. These little lines, you see those lines? Uh, long, long, spiracles, 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 spiracles. On the leg, there are parts we have to know, so that would be coxa. Procanter, no. coxa, tibia, tibula, and uh, the um, the uh, tarsus or the claws. So anyhow, we need to look at this a little bit later on. Tympanic membrane, as I said, always ask me in lab practical exam number 37. Tympanic membrane, right here. Not always, but most of the time. Tympanic memory. Okay, right here. Um, see, I have to look. Coxa, trochanter, tibia, fibula, and the uh, tarsus. So this then would be coxa. If this is 15, this is 15, that would be coxa. Uh, uh, no, sorry, this would be trochanter. Anyhow, we have to look this up. I always get them mixed up because the lab manual and textbook is they're different. Uh, four wing, hind wing. Four wing, hind wing. Um, what else? I have not gone through rectum. Uh, uh, right here is yeah. Uh, no, this is the uh, part of the reproductive system. This is no. This is I'm sorry. This is part of the reproductive system. This is rectum. This is the uh, ovipositors right here. This, this whole structure is called ovipositor. This is rectum. This is part of the uh, their reproductive system. These are gonads right here. So this would be the ovipositor. Is a salivary gland, if you're wondering, what was that? Salivary gland right here, the green. The green. Okay? So we did all of the grasshopper. We are done with grasshopper. Let's go to crayfish. No, wait, wait for that one. Okay, crayfish on the crab. Yes, I'm done with that. Um, on the uh, on the crayfish, uh, this is the gross anatomy of the crayfish. So this is called this uh, this um, 
appendage is called uh, uh, chila pit. This is called chila. From here to here is called chila pit. From here to here is called chila. Antenna, antenniole. Smaller one is called antenniole, antenna. Compound eye. Then um, this would be your carapace. Cephalothorax, carapace, right here, we'll talk about it. Uh, uh, pterygum, sternum, uropod, telson, walking leg, anus, and that's all I have here. On this one, again, uh, crayfish, uropod, these two are uropods, this is telson, telson, uropod, um, these are abdomen, uh, cephalothorax. Inside of the animal, this is green gland, right here, uh, crop, gizzard, heart, gonad, uh, extensor and flexor muscles right here and intestine comes through goes to the anus so extensor flexor muscles. cross section of the animal these are gills look like a feather you see the feather looking thing right here I put the question number 40 here gills um, again gonads heart um, and that's all I can see in here these are probably part of the digestive system whatever that is Compound I, and that's it. Now, can I have this? Yes. Okay, more details, of course. Antenna, antennials, uh, rosterum. Rosterum and the other models were not nice, but this one is rosterum, nice and beautiful. Uh, stomach, gonads, extensor and flexor muscles, intestine. Oh, Intestine, sorry, extensor and flexor muscles, all of this. Okay, uh, uropod, telson, anus, swimmerets. On the other models, you didn't have that. These are called swimmerets. Swimmerets, the very first one is used for reproduction. The male transfers sperm through this one to the female. Okay, to, uh, uh, to the reproductive portion of it. Walking legs. Gills, uh, chila pet, chila, so maxilla, chila pet is the whole thing. Chila is this thing. Uh, heart. Oh, uh, here. Um, which one is green gland? Uh, um, okay, green gland. Well, I will talk about that. It's not green here, but green gland, and this is stadolith, or um, I will talk about it in lecture. Stadolith. So we'll talk about that. And these are gills. Remember that look like a feather. You saw the cross section of it in the other one. Feather. Okay. The crab, I don't have anything. The cephalothorax is one. These are chila pet, chila, walking legs, and that's all I have to say on that one. Oh, uh, uh, this would be uh, sternum. The plates here would be sternum. I will talk about it later. Is that it? Is that all of your autotops? Let's have the starfish. Let's go over the starfish too.